Hey everyone, I hope you all having an amazing day. In this video we will be learning about how to change color of anything in your video. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as color click OK. Now we will import our stock footage by dragging it to our project panel. I will drag this footage onto our timeline to create a new sequence. Here we have this footage, where this person is relaxing, we are going to change his loafers color. Select the footage and go to effects panel. In the video effects under color correction folder, we will use this Lumetri effect. Drag this effect onto our footage. Now go to effects control panel, here we have the Lumetri effect. Lumetri is one of the most reliable tool in Premiere Pro when it comes to color grading. In this Lumetri effect we are going to work on this HSL secondary effect. HSL means hue saturation and lightness. This tool is used to change the specific colors in the footage. In our case we are going to change this person's shoe color. For that, take this color picker tool and select the color you want. We will select his shoe color. As you see after we selected his shoe color, HSL sliders are appeared. Now we are going to select his shoe color using this HSL sliders. First enable this show mask checkbox. As you see in this gray area only the selected color is visible. First we have to make his shoe color visible on this mask using the HSL slider. You can see there are some background color is also visible. We have to remove that using the slider. First we will use the lightness slider to bring more of this brownish red color visible. Drag this slider to make his shoes darker part to visible. Drag this to the left and increase it a bit more. Now that looks better, you can use this endpoint to feather the lightness of the color. Now we will increase the saturation a little, drag it like this. Make sure that the background color is not affected. Feather it a little. We will use the hue slider only a little. That looks great. Now uncheck the show mask. We are going to change his shoe color using this correction tool. During the color changing part if there is any noise appeared on the footage, you can use this denoise to remove that. I will set the denoise to 50. Now select this point then drag it to the color you want to change it to. There. We now changed his shoe color super easily. 
Using the HSL secondary tool, you can use this slider to increase the brightness of the color or use this to add more darkness. I will leave it right around here. Just look for the color you want to change. I will use this dark brown color. Before we play it, I will duplicate the footage by holding Alt and drag it above like this. My computer can't handle the Lumetri's pre-rending process while playing the video. So I will render this duplicated footage to play it. Right click on it and select render and replace. I will use the GoPro Inform preset click OK. Now let's play it. That looks super good. We can change the color if we want. This is before and after. I will delete this duplicated footage. Select this original footage and go to HSL secondary effect. You can use the temperature to change the colors temperature by increasing or decreasing. Feel free to play around with these to increase the dynamic look of the video. You can use the tint to change colors also. Increase the contrast if you like, and sharpen the color if need be. There are plenty of ways to make your videos to look better and I will teach you that. Just make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. This time we will use different footage. I will drag this second footage to our timeline like this. Here we have this beautiful flower footage. We will change the color of this flower to make it more beautiful. Go to effects and drag the Lumetri effect to our footage. We will do the same like we did previously. Take the color picker and select the color you want to change. You can also add more different color by using this add color picker tool. Check this show mask box. Use this HSL slider to make the color more visible. That looks good. Now uncheck the mask. I will increase the denoise to 40. Drag this slide a little above to increase the brightness. Change the color you want. Drag the slider below to increase the darkness. That looks good. Drag the original footage above and we can see the difference in the color variations. Hide this layer. Just play around with the color and temperatures to get the look you want. I will use this dark red color. Delete the original footage for now and let's play it. I will render it before playing for the smooth preview. As you see that looks super good. We can make this color look even better by using this trick. Drag the original footage above our color changed footage. Unhide the track. Select the top video and take the pen tool in the opacity. On effects control panel. Make a path shape by cutting half of the flower like this. If I unhide the flower footage. We now added one more color to the flower.
Feather the edges using the mask feather tool, like this. Let's play it. That looks absolutely gorgeous. As you see by using this tool we can create many more effects at ease. We finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.